News Live Storm Team. It's been a wild winter day today. Overnight, we started off with rain. We got the snow and now more rain falling on our tower cam as we take a look off to the west. And as temperatures dip, we're going to see that freeze once again in the Southern Valley. Northern Valley has been dealing with it all day long. So not great out there, even though the heavy snow that we saw earlier moved through, that's pretty much moved on. But we're getting that wraparound snow now pushing in scattered, not as heavy and not as widespread, but still impacting the valley, especially in the northern Northern Valley right now. As we take a closer look, Grand Forks right under the moderate snowfall. This extends up north, just about to push into Thief River Falls, seeing some light snow there. New Folden as well into Marshall County. Things starting to wind down a little bit for you in Hallock and over toward Grafton. We're even seeing some snow ongoing for some time uh, and mixed precipitation too. Just because we're seeing blue here doesn't necessarily mean that we don't have some sleet or some freezing drizzle mixed in with that as well. And with temperatures as cold as they are, we've got some problems on those roads. Roadways. Taking a look at the motion of this, again, the big area of snow has moved off to the arrowhead of Minnesota. We've got that snow moving in behind it, right on that cold air mass that's going to be continuing to push in for us, bringing us wind and much colder air, of course, for tonight. So here's a look at our temperatures right now. All of us at or below freezing, 30 degrees in Fargo and in Fergus Falls. Up to the north, we're into the 20s there, 25 in Grand Forks and Thief River Falls. But look over toward Devil's Lake, 12 degrees already. So cold air moving into our northwestern counties and anywhere where we've seen some melting or some slush on those roadways that haven't been treated they're going to freeze over again tonight looking at visibility also a problem not so bad down to the south maybe valley city having an issue of two miles there this is a little bit of an improvement we were seeing visibility less than a mile in a lot of places right now uh, the worst spot is cavalier at a mile and a half for visibility with the blowing snow uh, that may change again for tonight here's a look at the wind off to the east, we're still on the quiet side with calm conditions there. Starting to see them pick up in Fargo, 20 miles per hour to the northwest. But it's off to our western counties where we're seeing those winds gusting into the 30s. Even a 41 mile per hour gust reported last hour in Jamestown. And that wind will continue making its way into the rest of the valley through the nighttime hours tonight. And where we have that fresh snow falling, that's going to be the spot where we're dealing with a low visibility. Thanks to actually that freezing drizzle we've had. Uh, some of that snow has started to crust over a little bit with the warmer temperatures too and that may help to prevent too much of it to get picked up and blown around out there for the nighttime hours and tomorrow. But fresh snow, uh, that is fair game for the wind that will be moving in. So for tonight, we're going to see the snow again depart off to the east, but we'll still have some pockets of snow showers here and there uh, into the later evening hours. And notice the wind still strong, gusting into the 40s at times in the 10 o'clock hour. Temperatures really starting to cool off by tomorrow morning, starting off in the single digits and double digits above zero at 5 a.m. Most of the snow is cleared out, but we're going to continue to get pockets of instability, bringing us often on snow showers uh, for the daytime hours, more likely on the flurry side of things here. And the wind's still strong, so as you're trying to get to work, head off to school tomorrow morning. We're still going to be dealing with wind speeds gusting into the 30s, maybe even 40 miles per hour early on, and that's going to impact travel. By 8 a.m., temperatures continue to drop, will level off, or maybe even see those temperatures rise just a little bit, but not much tomorrow. Noon hour into the single numbers with mostly cloudy skies, especially into the east, pockets of sunshine in North Dakota, and the wind stays breezy, gusting into the 20s to 30s. And again, a couple of instances, especially in the northwestern part of Minnesota, where we see some snow showers impact acting us throughout the day. So not really improving a whole lot tomorrow. We're going to be cold, wind chills down into the 20s to 30s below by the time uh, we end our day tomorrow night. And in addition to that, still a little bit of blowing snow out there and roadways, of course, uh, still on the slippery side. Notice our temperatures tomorrow night will be below zero across the region. So not very warm for us now this, that when this system moves out. Next couple of days, again, flurries tomorrow, a little bit of wind impacting us. Our high temperature, 14, that's going to happen around midnight. We're going to watch those temperatures drop from there. Thursday looks cold with a chance for some snow later on. And this weekend, well, cold will be the theme. Valentine's Day, a high of four. Oh, it's going to be cold, but on a warm day to warm up with something, someone you love. Right. You know, people wanted winter. Well, it's here. We've got it's the here. snow. We've got the cold, cold weather moving in. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Coming up in sports, the Bison are recognized for their winning ways. Hear from them on the good times. And up next, what's being done to warm the hearts of students in the FM area.